Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sex Tech. Today in the studio, I'm going to show you how to create a Microsoft account on your Xbox One. So I'm going to go to my account and then go to sign out right here and then go to the login page and I'm going to go to add new and I'm going to create a new Microsoft account right now. So it's loading this page and it says sign in. If you have a Microsoft account, use that here. Otherwise, enter in your preferred email or phone number to create a new account. So you could type in your phone number if you want. But I'm going to go ahead and just type in a email address that I have. Or you could just make something up. But you do have to verify this at some point in time if you're going to be using this account and buying like Xbox Live or something like that. So I'm just going to type in some random thing right here. And then go to the symbols and go to at. And we can just do like gmail.com. And then just type this in and press the button with the three lines on it. It'll bring us to the next page. And then it says create your account. So I'm just going to type in Timbo, my first name, and then press the button with the three lines on it. And then just type in something for your last name. All right, and then pick a password. Type in a password. So just type some random thing in. So let's just type this in, see if this works. Now, press the button with the three lines on it and confirm your password. And just go ahead. Now, enter in your birth date. So let's just type something in and if you don't want to use a child account, make sure you're making your birth date old enough. So it says if a child uses this device, select their date of birth to create a child account. So you want to make yourself at least 18 or older. So let's go to uh, the year 2002 and then go to next. Then you can add a phone number or add an email address. So if you do have a valid email address, go ahead and just type that in so you can actually use this account and purchase things and then you can recover it if it does get hacked or anything like that and it says help us protect your account passwords can be forgotten or stolen we need some security info to make sure you're you so you can add your phone number or an email address so let's go to add email and this is just a secondary email address in case your account gets hacked or you forget your password and you can just type this in and then you can retrieve your credentials so just type anything in you want just type in a valid email address so let's just type a random thing in and just see what works so let's go to the symbols and go to the at symbol and then just type in gmail.com and then go to next so here's dot com go to next it says would you like to receive information about microsoft pro products and their safety agreements I, I said no so let's go to next now now, before you can use your account, you are going to have to sign in with your email address to verify it's you. So this is the section. They want you to enter in that specific code. So you do have to use a valid email address. So if you mistyped your email, you can just go to typo in your email address. And then you can change your email address right here if you forgot it. All right, so I typed in a valid email address and I was able to verify the code via an email. So you just have to type in like a six digit code. So I'm going to uncheck mark right there and then go to next and then enter in your gamer tag. So let's just type some random thing in and just see what pops up. Maybe like Timbo slice and see if that's taken and it's checking the gamer tag and it looks like it's good to go. So let's go to next and it's saying optional data collection is on. You can cancel it or go to next. Then it's telling you a little bit about who they share the data with and you can go to next for the privacy. Now it's asking you to sign in the security preferences. You can ask for my pin or no barriers. So I'm going to go to ask for my pin right here and you can skip link your controller or you can link it and you can make this your home Xbox so you can share your games and game pass to other accounts and then choose your color. And here's how you look on Xbox. And then you can buy Game Pass if you want. I'm going to go to No Thanks. So I'm now signed in to Xbox Live on my Xbox One with a new Microsoft account. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more technical videos coming up next on Your Six Tech.